Hello, my name is Sean Copeland and I'm Chairman and CEO of Regent Bank and we are in the middle of a series here on Regent Elevate called Leading with Love. And it comes from a book called Love Works that is an amazing book and it's based upon the scripture 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 7 and you're familiar with it. Love is patient, love is kind, love does not envy, etc. And we are using that scripture to talk about great leadership. And previously we talked about how important it is for a leader to be patient, how important it is for a leader to be kind, and today we're going to talk about a leader being trustworthy. Trust, trustworthy means that you've earned the confidence of others. Uh, Stephen Covey, who wrote Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, said that the most important characteristic of a leader is to be able to inspire trust. No matter what you say, uh, it's not going to matter if people do not feel like they can believe you uh, and, um, and trust you. So how do we create trust as a leader? Number one, we are a good listener. People uh, trust people who listen to them and value them. Poor listening or talking over someone or always thinking you have the answers can lead to being a sign of distrust and your employees are not going to want to follow you. Number two, avoid micromanagement. If you cannot trust others, you cannot be a successful leader. You cannot, you can control something or you can grow it, but you cannot do both. And so uh, trusting your employees is very, very important. Having total transparency, you know, one of the things we do at Regent is all of our financials are completely transparent to our employees, all of our strategies are completely transparent. There is literally nothing going on within this organization that our entire staff does not know about. So making sure that both your clients and employees are, you're fully transparent with them, they know everything uh, that they need to know. When we let someone go, I think it's very important that we, that we are trustworthy in that way. Number one, we don't ever surprise someone uh, by firing them. They've been coached. They've been, we've tried to develop them and we've just gotten to the point that it just doesn't work. We also treat them with kindness as they are leaving our organization. We don't. Uh, turn on them just because they're changing business cards. They're just as value, valuable to you now as they were previously when they worked for you. Uh, and then finally, getting great feedback, getting and giving feedback, making sure that we give honest feedback to others in kindness, but also that we allow them to give feedback to us as leaders. If we are making mistakes, if we're not doing the job, you know, we have to make sure that we are open to that feedback. So it's very, very important to be a leader that is trustworthy all the time. Thank you for joining us today, and we'll look forward to visiting with you next week.